Okay, today we're going to do another quick molar conversion, and we should be able to convert very easily between grams, particles, and volume. I think this is kind of a good little roadmap that you can keep in your head that can show you how you can get back and forth between grams, particles, and volume. These things are all related to each other through the mole. We know that um, if we have a certain number of grams of substance, we can convert to moles through its molar mass of that substance, because we know that one mole of any substance has a fixed mass. And then we can convert very easily between particles and moles through Avogadro's constant, because we know that one mole of the substance is equal to 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd particles, which we mean like molecules or atoms or ions or something like that. And then we know that the volume of a gas at standard temperature and pressure is related to the mole through its molar volume, because one mole of any gas at standard temperature and pressure has a volume of 22.4 liters. All right, so those are the conversion factors that you can use very easily to convert grams, particles, and volume. All right, so let's go on and do a few problems. Okay, in this video, we're going to do another quick molar conversion. And let's read our problem, see what we've got here. You can see it says, how many molecules are there? So this is how many, this is what we're trying to find. Are there in 15 liters of chlorine gas at standard temperature and pressure? So you can see, first of all, we have been given the number of liters. So this is what we have been given. And this says how many molecules. So we're trying to find how many molecules, which is the same thing as particles. And we've been given the volume in liters. So here we have the volume in liters. We're going to go to moles. And then we're going to go to number of particles. And to get from volume to moles, we're going to use the molar volume of, of one mole of gas at standard temperature and pressure. One mole is equal to 22.4 liters. And then when we go from moles to particles, we're going to use Avogadro's constant. As you can see, we have one mole is 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd particles. Okay, it does say chlorine gas, but it is interesting to notice here that we're not going to be using the molar vol excuse me, the molar mass of chlorine gas. We're just going to use the molar volume and then Avogadro's constant. Okay, so let's begin. Let's start by once again writing down what we have been given. We have been given 15.00 liters. Here's our conversion factor that we're going to use. We have liters in the top. Our, we have our, our value in liters. We want to be able to get rid of liters, cancel the liters. So we put 22.4 liters. The liter goes in the bottom. The one mole goes on the top. Cancel liters. Cancel liters. We're left with moles. And in this case, we come up with 0 0.67 Mole. So the answer to the first part of this conversion is 0 0.67 moles. Now we're going to do the second part of the conversion. So we just write down once again what we've been given. Here we have our 6.7 moles. We put that up here. Our multiplication sign, our division line for our conversion factor, and now we're going to convert from moles to number of particles. Using Avogadro's constant, we have the moles here. We, we are, our unit is now, our value is now in moles. So the moles goes in the bottom. One mole on the bottom. So you can see once again, we can cancel and get out of moles and get into particles or get into molecules. So we're going to write down Avogadro's constant. And I'm going to put down molecules. So that's what we want to know. How many molecules are there? So it's 0 0.67 times Avogadro's constant, 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. And you can see that we come up with 4. Okay, our answer therefore here is 4.03 times 10 to the 23rd molecules. All right, you can see we did both steps. We started with the volume in liters, went to moles using the molar volume of one gas, one, one mole of the gas, then we went from moles to particles using Avogadro's constant, and we end up with 4.03 times 10 to the 23rd molecules. Okay, thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.